I want to take the time to say thank you to my patrons. Your help has actually not only done so much for my channel, but has actually helped me personally to make it through this tough year. And I want to thank all of my subscribers and well, thank you. And let's get to the show. So, how many of you guys have actually heard of the channel The Hill? Now, mind you, um, of course, we know Rising, but and we think, oh, one person is a liberal, one person is is a conservative, and Rising, and so that means The Hill is supposedly centrist or supposedly doesn't take a stand, but um. Yeah, no, the heel is literally right wing propaganda because most of the shit that's on the heel comes from comes to shit like this. Now, when I originally watched this video, when I originally saw this video, it didn't make any fucking sense because I've actually seen the numbers. And quite frankly, we've actually also seen how we've seen the complaints that people on the right have had from the healthcare system, that certain numbers are mixed and, you know, it's not a yes or no thing. There are some shades of gray in there. But when I see this shit, a new poll, 39% of the health, um, want healthcare kept as is. I was a little incredulous, incredulous about it. So let's actually get to this video. Let's go. <laughs> now, here's the question. Should government healthcare programs like Medicaid or Medicare and Medicaid be expanded, be kept as they are now, or should the government remove itself from paying for any healthcare costs? Let's see. How this, because remember, framing is very important, guys. Framing is important. So let's let's hear this shit. All right, so. Should the government health care programs, so 39% says kept as is, 21% Medicaid or Medicare should be expanded to any citizens while those with private plans can keep their existing insurance costs. Medicaid, 10% Medicaid should be expanded to cover all citizens and private health care plans should be abolished. <laughs> Medicaid and Medicare should be expanded to cover all citizens, but people should have the ability to cover, to purchase private supplemental plan. <laughs> but this study literally only highlights the 39%. Literally only highlights that. But let's go. Now this is done April the twenty the sixth, excuse me, April the twelfth through the nineteenth among two thousand eight hundred and eighty one registered voters, plus or minus one point eight three percent. But let's go. Looking at this particular question. I actually see about half of Americans that say that they want our nation's healthcare system expanded in some fashion. Now, obviously, I don't think we're going to get the American public to really dive deeply into. Notice exactly what she said. 
And what does she mean by that? What does she mean by that? When you take 21 plus 10, that's 31, plus 19, that's 50%. That's 50% of Americans. And that number is down from the uh, from before um, Biden took office. And mind you, this is a Hill Harris poll. So they're citing their own poll, which this is the most right wing you could have actually had this question. Now, a different question: Should health care be a right? Different question: Should uh, should people actually go into bankruptcy for health care costs? Like this is should the government health care programs like Medicaid and Medicare be expanded, kept as they are now, or should be the government remove itself from paying from health care costs? This is the most right wing version of that of that question. Because it invokes socialized medicine. That shit that was pushed down, that, that propaganda that was pushed down our throats for the last 50, 60 years. It invokes government expansion. This is the most right-wing version of that fucking question. And they still get 50 fucking percent of some sort of government involvement. And then you don't even see the breakdown of... The current health care system kept its it kept as is because that literally still means that hey Medicare and Medicaid actually still being part of the system that we have now. Again, deceptive as hell. But let's continue. Into specific health care policy, but. I think it's important to note that, again, you're kind of approaching that bare majority mark of Americans that feel that they would like to increase access to health care. Uh, and it's certainly timely, as I know that legislation was just released um, around expanding um, Medicare buy-in to people, I think, ages 50 to 64 instead of 65 plus. So, again... This is also another fucking trick that is actually done when you see this question. I'm going to actually say this, and I know I have some people in the chat that can actually attest, attest to this. Just because you have access to a life comforting drug or a life comforting comfort, comfort to me, uh, a procedure that actually makes your life more comfortable, a drug that makes your life more comfortable, not just life saving, but you have the ability to access it. Doesn't mean that you can access it. And this is the stupid shit that we allowed ourselves to fucking believe. Oh, we can have more access to healthcare, but if you can't afford it, if you can't go to the doctor because you can't afford the copay or the fact that you can't afford even some basic shit of transportation to a place. How the fuck can you get it? That's like saying, well, you have the, you have the ability not to work your shitty job, but if you can't fucking afford not to work a shitty job, do you really have a fucking choice? Like, this whole thing about access, access, access. How about we do away with more access and actually just give people the, 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 the right, the, 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 not only the right, but just those appointments. Fuck access, give me appointments. It's got to be the stupidest fucking thing to say, well, we gave more people access. Could they, could they afford it? 
Well, no, but they have the they. If they had the money, they'd have a Billy too. How does that even help anybody? Access without the ability to pay for it is not access. It's a fucking paywall. And I'm sorry, I hate paywalls in video games, and I sure as fucking hate paywalls in real life. But let's continue. It's important to remember that, you know, there is public opinion data that shows a majority of Americans, in fact, a bipartisan majority, not something you see that often these days, uh, support Medicare expansion. So, you know, I think it really depends on how the question is asked. When you strip away... Oh, really? It's almost as if framing actually matters. And again, this is something that... The, the fucking title is deceptive as shit. Because if you would have saw this title and just ran with the title, most people wouldn't have made it this far. But let's go. Okay the kind of political verbiage, you know, Medicare for all, Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. And you just ask people, you know, are you in favor of expanding access to Medicare for people ages 50 and up? A Kaiser Family Foundation poll last year showed that about three quarters of Americans say yes, including majorities of Democrats and Republicans alike. And there's another piece of news here that Jeff Stein got as well, which is so, now, these two things shouldn't be mutually exclusive. There were, remember, there were the subsidies uh, expanded for the Affordable Care Act passed in the relief bill. So they expanded subsidies to so Affordable Care Act, uh, health insurance would be afford actually affordable for more people. That's a fine thing, that's a good thing. Um, so you have that on the one hand, and Pelosi and House Democratic leadership have really been pushing to use the healthcare dollars in this next bill to continue that expansion. On the other side, you have Bernie Sanders and now a growing list of other Democratic senators, including Dick Durbin, joining him in urging expansion of Medicare. That means... You know what? This is one thing that I've actually... I understand why they actually do it. I, I really do because we've been fed this lie that um, medic like only poor people need assistance. But what Bernie Sanders plan is, is not Medicare for all. Uh, I want to actually correct that. That's, that's propaganda. It's not Medicare for all. What Bernie Sanders plan is Medicaid for all. Literally, it, it actually is just Medicaid for all. And it's going to be an expansion of dental and uh, mental health and all that other good shit. It's really Medicaid for all. But I get it. Like, if you've been told for the last um, 60 years that only poor people and need help from the government and um, you're, you're poor, being poor is bad, yeah, sure. But like, we just had like an opioid crisis where even people that had money would start going bankrupt from shit like that. You would think people would fucking get out of their, their head out of their own ass about saying that, hey, maybe we should like not have to have these absorbative things for, you know, making sure people stay healthy. And ooh, 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 to go back to the previous video, um, you know that obesity is actually lessened when people can actually go to the doctor and actually see people and be more healthy, right? Like, like this whole thing of just like bootstrap sh bullshit um it's failing everybody not just you know those 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 dastardly people of color who 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 were seen as scapegoats but now it's actually hurting everybody but you know but like you know why help yourself when you can own the lives right but let, let's con let's continue off on the sidetrack lowering the enrollment age and also covering dental vision hearing so again, you could do both of those things. You mm -hmm. could maintain the subsidies and you could lower the Medicare eligibility age. However, the way this has been sort of, the, the way the Biden administration is playing is that-, that Well, I do want to say that, Ziggurat. The reason why the leftist articles have a paywall versus the right-wing media is because right-wing media 
basically is subsidized by oil billionaires that would give away free shit in order to keep their tax breaks. Um, what was funny is if you actually remember, Ted Cruz actually just read made an op-ed where he talks about over nine years in the Senate, he's actually um, gotten like $2 million for, from different companies when they get $12 billion in subsidies and shit like that. See, th yeah, they, the, the reason why right-wing motherfuckers actually get, it, like their shit is free is because quite frankly, they're getting all of our money. We're all paying for it in the tax breaks and tax refunds that they get. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I just want to actually address that. Yeah, I, I, I totally get it. We're, we're, the website may be free, but we're all paying for it in the end. Sometimes figuratively and literally. Well, I guess that still would be figuratively. But let's continue. This is this is like an either or. We're going to do one thing in healthcare. We're either going to do this. We're going to do that. And it looks like they are set to back the Pelosi proposal. Now, why all does right, that matter? Because on, obviously, if you're sort of like huge, if you lower the Medicare healthcare, color me super. All right, this is just, all right, so, yeah, yeah, so, this is what I mean, and this is what I want to actually address. The fact that they sit back in just made that seem like it was, oh, 39% of people don't want healthcare change. It was deceptive as shit, and this is, this is one of the reasons why as much as I get my news from different sources, I still fucking bet it. And to be honest with you guys, we need, we need a rewrite from page one of how we treat people, individuals and groups of people in our society. But it also requires us as pool, as part of that society, as part of the people that needs to be served. Uh, need to be, be, you know, service, then um, we need to have more media li literacy. And, well, quite frankly, we need to have these politicians understand we're not locked in here with them. They're locked in here with us. And they're our fucking employees. And we need to fucking make sure that the American public is taken care of. Not just some f fucking rich oil billionaire that, you know, has enough money and access to pay for shit while the rest of us suffer. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this clip. Please like, share, and subscribe. I do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, where you can actually join the chat. And, um, yeah, yeah. By the way, you can join my Discord server, which is down in the description. And you know what? Oh, what was that in the description? Oh, if you want to help out, you can actually help out to my Patreon. And of course, my Streamlab link is up top. So thank you guys for watching. And um, please stick around for the next clip on this channel or how am I doing a live? Thanks. Hey guys, this is me, Crimson60620. And if you ever want to actually get some great art, and help support my channel help support me check out my merch page at streamlabs.com forward slash crimson 60620 backslash merch here you can actually find um, great pieces of art put on t-shirts and it'll be updated frequently with a lot of my other art so thank you for support and please enjoy the video thanks